Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei mir, Trunks. Ähm, ja, das ist mein Video nach langer Zeit, würde ich sagen, außer meine Elden Ring Tutorial Videos, oder beziehungsweise ähm, Hilfsvideos, will ich sie mal nennen. Ähm, da ich umgezogen bin und einen eigenen Raum jetzt habe zum Aufnehmen, dachte ich, kann ich das mal ein bisschen, ja, sagen wir mal ein bisschen professioneller angehen lassen. Ne? Und starte heute mit einem Let's Play. Ich werde erstmal nur aufnehmen, aufgrund von ja, Telekom, Internet, Probleme. Äh, werde wieder nacheinander hochladen. Ich werde, immer, ich werde sehr viel aufnehmen jetzt am Anfang und werde dann, sobald ich Internet habe, jeden Tag ein Video hochladen. So eine Stunde ungefähr. Und ja, und wenn sobald Internet läuft, werde ich dann auch mal mich an Twitch wagen. Ja. Heute starten wir mit The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. Ich habe ja schon gestartet, weil ich einen Test gemacht habe. Ähm, so, wir haben jetzt. Wir haben 5 Uhr PM. So, ich habe das Spiel noch nicht gespielt. Ich habe auch gerade geschrieben, weil die Frage kam: Wurde das Spiel schon mal gespielt? Habe ich natürlich gesagt: Nein. Ich habe es nur bei einem Let's Player gesehen. Aber als es rauskam. Deswegen bin ich relativ jungfräulich, gehe ich jetzt an dieses Spiel ran. Besonders weil die Version jetzt ja auch sehr viel Extras haben soll. Neue Wege und so weiter. So. Ducken, interagieren, alles klar. Dann fangen wir an. Ich mag die Idee, ich mag den Sprecher, mochte ich aus. Story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. And in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul washing, Stanley relished every moment of the orders he was made. Though he had been made exemplary for this job, Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single <coughs> had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Also, ich schätze mal, jetzt könnte ich spielen. Also erstmal mache ich den Sprecher, ich mache die Stimme von ihm. Ähm, und ja, also ich beneide wirklich Leute, die einen monotonen Job so gut ausüben können und das auch durchhalten. Für mich ist das leider nichts. So, mal gucken, was passiert, wenn wir jetzt mal eben warten. Ich schätze mal, gleich kommt schon irgendetwas. Ich einfach mich nicht bewege. Da jetzt noch mal so 20 Sekunden, würde ich sagen. Und dann starten wir. Okay, das passiert auch nicht. Mhm, mh. Okay. Sehr interessant. Okay, rechte Taste. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
interessant. Nochmal. Oh, wir können hier ran. Cool. Ducken. Aber da wünsche ich mir noch so eine Zoom-Funktion, damit man sich die ganzen Unterlagen hier angucken kann. Ja. Okay. Weiter also geht's. Red Mondays. Typischer Garfield Quote. Sales in this quarter. Projections. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wir folgen erstmal der Geschichte. Und dann schalte ich zwischendurch auf Spaß. Wohin wir gehen. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Also erstmal, ja. Keiner soll hier irgendwas ändern, außer äh, ohne den, den Whiteboard Manager zu fragen. Das finde ich schon mal lustig. Mergers, Office, oh, Office Party. Planning und RIP Farms. Schade. Okay, okay, okay. Und Jim. Jim hat keine Nummer. Er ist der Auserwählte. Ist das schon ein Anspringer aufs Office? Nein. Vermutlich nicht. So. Die Zukunft ist morgen. Morgen ist jetzt. Mhm. Okay, Chris hat sich versteckt in der Besenkammer. Das ist gut. Oh nein, der, der Papier, Papiertyp wurde leider gekündigt. So. Oha, okay. Hier sehen wir das Problem. Ich würde sagen, unsere Firma macht Verlust. Ich mag immer diese ganzen kleinen Details hier. Monetize free to play. Help. I'm a posted. Oh nein. Wir müssen ihn töten. Okay, Prophets und Propheten. Ich hoffe, es stört euch nicht, wenn ich noch ein bisschen mehr gucke. Tatsächlich finde ich das immer sehr interessant. Happy Feelings. Was, was Leute möchten, Happy Feelings. Und Wilder James, du bist gefeuert. Mhm. Okay. Okay, in den Idea, äh, Ideen Mülleimer. Okay, Chris, wo bist du? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Mhm. Dann Stanley das tut. Dann ist sehr gut. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Würde ich vermutlich wohl auch machen, wenn ich in meinem Büro wäre und es wäre keiner mehr da. Das unterstütze. Uh. Uh. Also, weil der Boss ist weiß. Okay, das heißt, da der Boss alles weiß und, und alles passiert, was er sagt, sollten Verluste entstehen, dann ist es das, was der Boss wollte anscheinend. Also, sieht sehr, sehr schick hier aus. Ah, okay, schick ist vielleicht. Oh ja. 
Ich muss zum Drücken. Tastatur. Oh. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret PIN number. 288. Zwei, acht, vier, fünf. Kann ich kann klar kein Klavier spielen, das ist schon mal nicht überzeugend. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Wasserausgang. Ach so, weil ich so nah am Keypad bin. Ja. Mhm. Keine Bücher, die aufstechen, richtig. Keine Bilder. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. And the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Whoop de do. Uh, ach, da, okay. Bisschen dunkel hier. Okay, auf meinem Bildschirm ist es deutlich dunkler als bei euch. Okay. Keine Fahrstuhlmusik. Minuspunkt. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. <coughs> Moment. Whoops, look, uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Come here, we'll see how it Stanley, it's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other. Weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Spontan. Ganz spontan. Oh, yeah. Surely yeah, because... this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. As I glaube, es ist das ist the end is never. Es ist das Büro. Absolutely changes everything for me. 
Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Give me up. Okay, I'm ready. And prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Okay. Okay, das ist richtig, ja. Genau mein Humor. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my world view for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. So, wo gehen wir jetzt hin? Runter? Of course. Going back down the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Auf jeden Fall wollte ich jetzt fürs erste Video mit was Lustigen anfangen. Und dann wird noch harter Tobak kommen. Ich wollte Master's Dead spielen. Ähm, ich wollte This is the Police 2. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, here's the typical scary movie Entscheidung, Escape or Certain Death. Huh. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Yeah, come. Ich, ich möchte ihm glauben, ich glaube auch, dass er die Wahrheit sagt, aber ja, wir müssen es mal ausprobieren. Ich meine, er wusste ja auch nicht, den Aufzug hoch und runterfahren von vorne an. Door behind him was not shut. <coughs> Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Na ne? Hm. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Nee, okay, komm. Ich hab ein bisschen Angst. Ich, ich geh zurück. Ja, auf jeden Fall, das, wir fangen hiermit an. Wie gesagt, ich mache mehrere Videos. Ähm, ich sehe ein Ziel auf. Ja, ich Ja. What do we say about death? Not today. Aber komm schon klar. Na, auf jeden Fall heute was Lustiges und ich werde dann nochmal verschiedene Spieler spielen, mehrere Stunden aufnehmen und dann halt immer auf jeden Tag eine Stunde verteilen, also dann hochladen auf YouTube. Ja, und wenn das Internet geht, dann nochmal Twitch, ein bisschen was streamen. Mal schauen. That his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, by plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Nein. Farewell, Stanley. 
Versteckt mich. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. I guess not. Oh. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Draußen? When every person oh. you walk has been created for you long in advance, <coughs> death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, the start? Hmm. Also, the Anfang. Komplett bis zu den zwei Türen. Bis zu den ersten. Treibungsschränke, wichtig. Nö. Wird alles ausgemacht. Stromsparen, Leute. Oh, der wird aber wieder angemacht. Stanleys. Ding. Aber den mag ich. Okay. Mhm. Ein paar Credits entwickelt von Cross 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 und der makellose Kevan Brighton, der Erzähler. Moment. Achso, Entwicklung. Hm. Wie das mal wieder an? When Stanley came to the base, he traveled upward to the power source at the top of the facility to end this injustice forever. Stanley could Stanley walked over the bridge. Okay, die ganzen Outtakes vom Erzähler, sehr gut. Ich möchte jetzt auch nicht mehr Zeit hier verschwenden als nötig, auch wenn das ganze Spiel natürlich darauf auf, äh, aufgebaut ist. Freiheitsende, okay. So, oh, den kenne ich, da war ich. Okay, genau hier rüber. Und dann, ich glaube, rechts war gerade der Neustart. Zähle E-Mails. Okay, also 
Fans, die geschrieben haben und Fragen gestellt haben. Okayisch, würde ich sagen, Schlachtfeld. Oh mein Gott, das Spiel, ähm, außerdem wär, würde es von manchen Leuten so interpretiert, dass das Spiel sich über Leute lustig macht, die Ego schüttern und das nicht unsere Absicht war. <lacht> war auch ego shooter von daher, aber es würde mir auch nicht stören, wenn Leute sich darüber lustig machen. Also. Okay. Nichts. Okay, Trailer. <lacht> Fast. Okay, dann starten wir jetzt, würde ich sagen, neu. Wir haben noch, ja, drei Durchgänge schaffen wir. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your PlayStation. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Ich will nicht die Playstation ausmachen. Ich weiß natürlich nicht, ob das wirklich einen Effekt schafft, aber. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Tumia? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, okay. he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh. Schade. Na, wir gehen erst mal runter. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did the doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they still yeah, we'll speaking? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. 
His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Okay. He imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, jetzt ist wirklich ein Fehler aufgetreten oder. Das ist eine komische Fehlermeldung. Normalerweise gibt es eine andere, glaube ich. <lacht> mal gucken mal. Das wäre interessant, wenn das das geheime Ende wäre, nämlich Absturz. Hm. Jetzt haben wir. Okay. Nein, ich, wenn da steht, ich soll die äh, Uhr einstellen, dann stelle ich die Uhr ein. Korrekt. Vielen Dank. Kannst du nicht? Ich kann meine Lieblingszeit einstellen. Vielen Dank, Spiel. Okay. So. Auch das, ja, sehr nett, sehr cool. Mal gucken, was passiert. Also das Spiel abgestürzt? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Perhaps he had simply yeah. missed a memo. Then we go on the same way and show how this abstürzt or not. Or not interested in this, of course. If that was so planned, or or yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment. Bin mal gespannt, ob das jetzt echt ein Fehler war oder nicht. Aber ich gehe davon aus, es war ein normaler Fehler. Ich hatte jetzt den neuesten Patch, glaube ich, drauf. Falls jetzt natürlich nochmal passiert, dann tut es mir leid für euch. Dann will ich natürlich gleich einen anderen Weg. Aber ich würde jetzt gerne das Ende sehen, beziehungsweise den Weg hier. Wir hatten jetzt hier erst ähm, die Türen hoch und runter und eben dann halt zu dem Mind Control und ähm, Escape. Deswegen würde ich gerne natürlich das ausreizen. To have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. 
That's not good. Imagine themselves soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not broken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Okay, let's take that off. Perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley no. is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I That's want of my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Online. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her house. <gasps> Online standing. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Then found Marielle Parable. Das nächste Spiel. Hm. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go through the Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Gehen wir einmal falsch. Wenn wir Stanley richtig. came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. 
It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh. Yes, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nee, das ist der, der Meeting, Meeting Room. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, 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 uh from here it's um left. Okay. Oh no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now let's see. Went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. At all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just let's get back to a you cooked it Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Ja, komm, wir haben noch Zeit. Ich mach noch einmal durch den Durchgang. Diesmal folgen wir den Anweisungen allen. Also, ja. Erstmal. When Stanley wait. Wait, what? No. No, I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted the game over completely fresh. Everything should be Or did something change? Stanley. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then. It's an adventure. Come Stanley. Let's find the story. Okay, machen wir. Okay, das war Wahnsinn, oder? Okay. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... We need to restart the game again. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Okay, yep. It's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. Okay, good sales.
Nope. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. Machen wir. Oh, okay. Now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some oh. people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Nope. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Gute Musik. This fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Wunderschön das war. Kann ich jetzt gehen? Is that it? Okay, come, weiter. Können Sie uns halt hier rumstehen? Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story is. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could oh, you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take Traitor. Oh, the hell with it. Restart. Lines a traitor. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, nice. right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Let's go. Now, yes, 
This is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go on. Anything. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Anything. Am I? Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monologues. I don't Just don't acknowledge it. And it should be fine. It shows me now. Okay. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads there. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Okay. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Erste Neustadt, zweiter, dritter, vierter, fünfter, sechster Neustadt. What this is? It's all one giant. Nein. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. Absolutely not. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time it will stop? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Life is open. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Scheint es wohl uns eine gewesen zu sein, oder? Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this? What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. That's not true. 2805. Uh. But of course, Stanley, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. 
He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah. Müssen wir die Wahrheit Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Einzige interessante hier ist 2, 3, 4. Der da. Ist auf dem Bildschirm drauf. Stanley? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? the proof, the heart of the operation, controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Ja. Das wäre echt schlecht. Nur noch drei und vier. Hier ist irgendwo noch einer versteckt. Okay, hier 
3, ich habe 5. 5, 4. Hier drin. Okay, hier sind wir jetzt also mal gedacht. Ja. Ich habe hier mehr, ja, das sieht so aus, ich habe das hier. Okay, Moment. Jetzt reicht es mir. Es geht nicht bis hier hoch. Diese blöden Lampen hier, ne? Die kann ich hier echt nicht. Die bis auf den Boden, ja. Da sehe ich nichts, was da ist. Was drum? Hm. Okay, mir ist wahrscheinlich jetzt viel Zeit. Ich würde es aber so gerne wissen. Mann, dieser innere, innere Twist, äh, Twist mit sich selbst, ne? Oh Mann, egal, okay, okay, okay. Konzentration. Können wir aufgeben. Nochmal da auf dem Twitch-Bildschirm sehe ich es ein bisschen besser. Das ist ein Tor. Das hilft nicht. Ich gehe in mein Control hier. Okay, wo bin ich? Okay. 
Okay, ich bin nur an der Stelle. Okay. Ich sehe gar nichts. Moment. Ich bin einfach runtergefahren. Ah, das ist das so gewollt oder? Okay. Ich gehe noch mal rein. Aber ich glaube, mir geht es hier von vorne los, ne? Okay, das war doch mal eine schöne Zeit. Ähm, ja, das war Stanley Parable. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, lasst ein Like da. Ähm, abonniert gerne auch. Ja, unterstützt mich. Ich würde mich freuen und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal.